Okay, we're going to look at working with the preset manager to save all our custom brushes that we've created. So we're going to go to our edit menu and come down to our preset manager. And with that preset manager up, um, what we're going to do is start to save our custom brushes down here directly below this. So what's going to happen when I define this brush here, it's going to fall um, down at the very bottom and I'm going to start to create a new brush set from that. So I'm going to go ahead and control A, edit define brush pre preset and save that as splatter. Click OK and I'll come down to edit menu again and preset manager as we can see there's my new brush that I've just had that I just have. So if I want to go in there to rename it, I could, but I want to create a new set from that. Now when you do your sets, you want those named um, appropriate to the types of brushes that you're creating. So I'm going to just select that very first one that I had. If I had multiples, I can use my control key to select multiple um, sets for myself, but I only have one. So I'm going to select the one, go to save set, and then I'm going to select an appropriate location for that brush preset, and I'll just name this as splatter. And down here it saves it as a .abr file, and save, and now I have this brush preset saved for myself. So if I want it to basically load this, I can go to replace brushes, select splatter and load, and it just loads that one brush. So if I had a number of brushes here, I would just have that brush preset and I could work from that brush preset. And that essentially becomes my new brush to work with. And that's how we do it.